For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and today's video is a little bit off the cuff, pretty casual. I needed to transition all of my clothes over from summer clothes to fall clothes slash winter because there's not a huge designation between the two in Texas, and our temperatures just dropped overnight. We were at like 95 degrees one day, and we woke up the next morning, and it's like 55 degrees. So I'm already wearing sweaters again. It feels really good to be back and be cozy, but I need to really take a hard look at my dresser, kind of clean some things out, and move out all the swimsuits and shorts and things that I'm not gonna wear over the next couple of months. So I'll show you how I keep everything organized and then I figured instead of doing any sort of separate haul video, it might be fun just to show you a couple of things that I'm gonna wear throughout the fall and the winter that I've invested in so far. Let's go. Most of the action is gonna go on down here. So this is the place where we're gonna be spending the most time. I have these two sections of my dresser completely designated to seasonal clothing. So every time it's time for me to switch out those clothes, I know exactly where they're gonna go. This right here is kind of a mix. It's busting at the seams with t-shirts and some sweaters that are a little lighter like sweatshirts that I may want to throw on at home even if it's spring or summer so those stay here year-round but then I also have bathing suits and these t-shirts I'm not really wearing so it may be good for me to go through those and give some of them away and then down here this is where all of my shorts athletic or otherwise so all of this needs to be taken out and transferred into this big tub that you can't see right now. This whole tub sits in my closet year round. It's under some clothes. I have a pretty big closet. So this kind of sits on the left side underneath some hanging pants so that it doesn't really get in the way. Right now it's filled with all of my sweaters and fall clothes that I need to transition into the dresser. So we're gonna take everything out of these two sections and then go ahead and put these in. And at the same time, I'm gonna be looking at each piece of clothing and figuring out if it's something that I wanna keep or if it's something that I wanna donate. I do this exercise when I'm packing these clothes away and then again, because fashions change or maybe you realize I've had this sweater for so many seasons and I'm just not wearing it. And so it's time to just go ahead and give it away. So first let's clean this out and then I'll go through this bin right here. Blue jean shorts I'm actually gonna keep in this drawer because Texas weather, you never really know it's gonna happen. So one day it could be 55 degrees and the next day it could be 80. So having just one pair of shorts handy and ready so that I don't have to go back into the bin later and get it out is always kind of nice. I'm also gonna do the same with these shorts. I like these because you kind of get two for the price of one. These are completely reversible. And so I can just have black shorts or I can have gray shorts at the ready just in case. And these will be really good if I feel like running or going to the gym at my apartment building or something. Okay, so that is all the shorts. I ended up having one sweatshirt kind of hidden away in there. So that's put over to the side. And then the two shorts that I'm gonna keep out and keep in these drawers. I may actually move these over to my pants and leggings drawer just so that all of the bottoms are kind of in one place. But anyway, this is the only thing that I'm gonna keep out for the rest of the fall and winter. And then next up is this cabinet here, which again has my bathing suits, a couple of sweatshirts scattered throughout, a new sweater that I just got that I didn't wanna hang up because I don't like when you hang up a sweater and it kind of pulls at the sleeves, and then a whole bunch of t-shirts. Okay, I've been through the t-shirts, I've been through the sweatshirts that I know I wanna keep out. I just need to organize them a little bit better. And then now it's time to just go through these swimsuits, fold them up. These have all been recently washed and go ahead and get these ready to be put into storage. Lucky for me, my memory card was full. So halfway through my bathing suit organization, it just completely cut off. So I don't know how much that you saw at this point, but I've now been through this cabinet. I've now cleaned out this drawer. And so now it's time for me to take all of the sweaters out of that big plastic bin and then organize them in here. And what I think I'm gonna do is put all of the sweatshirts and kind of outerwear type things here and then do my best to fit all of the sweaters that I would wear as a shirt, kind of like this, and put those here. So it's more like tops and then outerwear. So we're gonna see if it fits like that. This may be a complete like 
perfect world scenario. So let's see what we can do. And we'll just start with this pile here. These are the sweatshirts that I took out of this cabinet that were already there. This one right here is a really cool kind of convertible sweater that I got at the Nordstrom sale last year. You put it on and then it has this big long piece that kind of looks like a scarf and you can twist this and you can wear it and make it kind of like a, a crisscross sweater or you can just throw it around your neck and it can just be kind of a drapey sweater. But it's really, really hard to fold up so I think I'm actually gonna move this to my closet and create a little additional space in this dresser right here. This sweater, on the other hand, this is one, I guess I'll just show this to you intermittently. This is one that I got from Madewell very recently. It has these really cute kind of like wider sleeves and it has this little detailing on the sleeve of these little kind of baubles. I just really liked that it was a cardigan. It was something a little different, but still kind of a classic cream color. It just has a little bit more pizzazz. So I was very excited about this. It is exceptionally thick and the sleeves are rather heavy. And so I felt that if it was on a hanger, it would be pulling and I don't ever want to create pulls in the sides of my sweater, so that's why this is getting folded. Since it's a cardigan, it's going to go in the outerwear section in this cabinet. All of the t-shirts that I ended up keeping, I'm going to distribute into these two drawers right here. And then that will help save some space for all the sweaters on the way. Now it is finally time to tackle this huge bin of sweaters. Now my philosophy here is I'm gonna go through it. If I know for sure I wanna give it away, I'm gonna give it away. If I'm on the fence about it, I'm likely gonna keep it. That'll give it one more chance to get used this season and then if I don't wear it after that, I'll know for sure that I wanna give it away. And that's kinda of why I go through this process when I'm putting clothes away and when I'm taking them out the next season. So I kinda of just went through the t-shirts there. I know that most of my bathing suits were new so I didn't wanna get rid of most of those, but I did clean out some t-shirts here and there. Let's get started. I've had this old navy top for like four years. It's kind of getting to the point where it's really pilly. It's kind of a sweater material. It's very flattering. It's kind of like a swing top, but I think that it's time to retire this because it's not honestly the best color for my skin tone either. So I think it's time for this one to go. These are some pants that need to be put in the legging and pant drawer. And then this, if you saw my recent Stitch Fix unboxing, is one of the cute sweaters that I got this season. It's a very simple, just cream sweater, but I really like that it has this scalloped hem detailing. I think that it's something that's just a little bit different. It's also a super lightweight sweater. So again, this was another one that I felt like I couldn't hang up because I didn't want to create those indentions or pulls in the shoulders. This came from the brand Cotton Emporium. It's the Merriam Cropped Scalloped Hem Pull over. I had mine in the, sh the size extra small and it's in the color beige. I really can't wait to wear this one. It's probably the perfect weather today while it's like 50s, it's not too cold, it gets a little warmer in the sun. Pajama pants, I usually keep those in the identical cabinet that's on this side that you can't really see. So I'm gonna throw this over to the side because this needs to go into a different drawer. This is a pajama top. I know myself and I know I'm never, ever, ever gonna wear this red pajama top, so this is gonna go. These pants, on the other hand, that they match, I definitely will wear. Okay, this is a long sleeve t-shirt. This is another thing that I kind of take out some of my short sleeve t-shirts and replace them with long sleeve t-shirts because I love throwing these on on the weekends under a really cozy sweatshirt. So this I'm just gonna put to the side for now. Everything fits surprisingly nicely in these different drawers. So I'll go ahead and just start to load up all of the clothes that I've already cleaned out into this bin. Okay. Everything is packed away. Clearly, I have a lot fewer summer clothes and summer clothes just take up no space at all. Most of it's bathing suits and a lot of my clothes I keep hanging up year round. I have plenty of clothes, but I don't have a ton to where I need to like take down hanging clothes so that I have enough hangers to hang up my winter clothes. So I should be set in that department. So now that we've actually organized everything, 
things are looking a little bit more manageable and I know that I have some ample space in this dresser. I will go ahead and show you a couple of things that I've picked up lately for fall that you may be interested in because I know it's still for sale. I would tell you about all of these sweaters and everything that I put away but most of the stuff that I purchase is from stores like Madewell and Loft and I feel like they have new collections every single year and so a lot of this stuff is kind of hard to find. So in the spirit of keeping things truly informal, this is not going to be a try-on haul, if you will. This is just going to be me showing you a couple of things that I've got recently to kind of help me transition into the fall and the winter. Remember that our winters here in Texas are super mild, but I actually just got assigned in my new job, so I'm going to be flying to Indiana a lot this winter. So if you have any suggestions on snow boots or jackets or ways to layer clothes that I already have, that would be greatly appreciated, but this is for fall and winter in a pretty mild mild setting. So the first shirt comes from Loft. This is their leopard utility blouse. And since animal print is pretty in these days, I thought that this was kind of an easy way to wear it. It would look really nice under a leather jacket or some type of blue jean jacket even. I can wear this to work. I can wear this for play. And I got this when the whole store was 50% off. So I think I got this for somewhere around 30 bucks. But because I don't have the tags for everything I'm about to show you because I've already worn a lot of it, I'll just be consistent and put the prices and what it is and where I got it on the screen. And then also link it for you in the description box below. This next one is the coziest. And it's this kind of like Sherpa wool quarter zip pullover from Fabletics. I was able to purchase this with a lot of referral credit thanks to you all who watched my Fabletics video. If you haven't already seen that Fabletics video, it walks you through the ins and outs of the subscription service in total. Like how it works, how to sign up, how to cancel, what's the frequency of it, what's the price of it. But this is so well made. I was a little skeptical about it, but this is completely lined and you can kind of see with this cotton interior. But the outside is this Sherpa kind of look. It's like super fuzzy, very, very plush. But I love that the inside is actually lined with cotton. Kind of short, it's like on the cropped side, very similar to the sweater that I have on now. I can see myself wearing this around the house. I took a nap in this yesterday or wearing this to a workout class or something in the winter. So this I was very, very impressed by. And I think they only have one color. So if you like this gray color, that's what they have available. This next shirt I actually found out about through a fashion YouTuber. Now I haven't been completely exposed to that area of YouTube, but I ran across one of her videos and she was kind of walking through what the trends were gonna be for fall 2019. And this was a shirt that she mentioned. This comes from Nordstrom. It is a little bit cropped. So I feel most comfortable wearing this shirt when I have high-waisted jeans, especially in the colder months. You don't really want to have like your midriff exposed because that's just downright cold. Like you just, you're not even comfortable trying to look cute. So this I've gotten a lot of compliments on every time I've worn it. I've worn it to a birthday dinner and most recently to a Casey Musgraves concert. But anyway, this comes from Nordstrom. Check it out. They have another print too. I just really like this pink floral one. We talked about my sweater from the Stitch Fix unboxing and this is the other shirt that I ended up keeping for my second Stitch Fix box. So I'll link that video down below in case you're interested in learning more about that service in case you're kind of in a clothes rut and you just don't really know what you want. You can just have somebody else shop for you. So this comes from one of my favorite brands, Made well and this is the texture and thread line and this is kind of a thicker very nicely lined t-shirt and it's a little nicer than your average t-shirt I really liked the contrast collar it's a way to wear fun colors in like these colder more dreary months so I again was really excited to have this and like that it's short sleeve so that you can layer sweaters and stuff on top of it and not burn to a crisp once you get inside. Here's another one that I got from Madewell. This is one of those that came in like a Facebook ad or something and I am embarrassed to say that I actually purchased it on the spot but since then have actually gotten $15 back on this purchase because one of my credit cards has like a price rewind feature. So if you look really closely and I've worn this in several videos recently. It has different foods from around the world. So you have like some spaghetti with Rome and some rice in Bangkok, tacos, we've got some Vegemite from Sydney, um, bagels in New York. I just thought it was so cute. And this is one of those t-shirts that's just, it's kind of a cropped style. It's just kind of an elevated t-shirt that I know I'm gonna get so much use out of. I've already worn this so many times. This purchase is one that I'm most excited about, I think. This also comes from Loft. This was also 50% off. And this is a really long green duster sweater. But do you see how it has this slit in it? This even works for short people like me. It kind of comes down to like mid-calf or maybe 
even a little bit further, but I just think that this would be so nice for our version of fall. When you can kind of put a white tank top under this, tuck it into jeans and maybe wear it with some type of booty or something, I can see myself wearing this sweater all the time. Now I had my eye on another duster sweater is what they call this, that was a little bit more poppy. It had like a floral print, it was really fun, but it was something that was gonna be so noticeable every single time I wore it because it was a little bit of a statement. So when I saw this green one from Loft, I just thought that this was the perfect answer because I can wear this a lot without it being extremely noticeable that I continue to wear the same thing. So that's kind of my approach to a lot of my clothes. Sometimes you may say it results in a boring closet. I just like to have pieces that I can wear with tons of other shirts and pants and everything else in my closet. And last but not least, this is my definite investment piece for these winter months for the rest of my life. And this comes from the brand Marine Layer. I just loved that it was a longer style cardigan. It is a little bit chunky. It had this kind of unique color. It was, it's like cream with a little bit of black mixed in. It was a pretty print. It's so well made. The pockets here are lined with like a black cotton. I wore this the first day that the temperatures dropped. It was the first thing that I put on. And I don't own a ton from Marine Layer. In fact, I don't think I own anything else except for this. But they have a lot of like basic pieces. They just have like a little bit of a unique twist to it. But when I saw this sweater, I just knew yes this is gonna happen so this is one thing that I'm really excited about and again purchasing outerwear and different things that you can throw on over lots of outfits is kind of the approach that I like to take just because you get more use out of it and so that's why I felt comfortable investing in a piece like this because I know I'm gonna get a ton of use out of it. So I know this was an extremely casual video. Usually I have like a lot of facts that I'm spouting out at you or detail reviewing certain products, but hopefully this was fun and a little bit more casual and kind of in that organization declutter realm. I've showed you the way that I organize my closet from season to season. We've gotten my dresser squared away and I've kind of walked you through a couple of things that I'm excited to wear in these upcoming seasons. So again, I'll have everything linked in the description box down below with prices and details details and sizes. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, then go ahead and like it. Stick around, join the community, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!